In this video, I will show how to analyze a basic PCA model, picking up from where we left off in the Making a PCA Model video. First we see that the colors in this plot are not appearing randomly. Rather, they seem to be clustered together based on color. Looking at this plot, we can say that the earlier time point samples have lower values for PC1 along this axis. They are on the negative side of PC1, and as the time point increases, the later time points have higher values for PC1 scores which are on the positive side of PC1. Hence we see that there is a clear trend that there is an increasing time point as the values for PC1 increase as well. Now we can double click at this black cross in the middle so we can return to the default view. And now we can look at our loadings plot. We can again enlarge this by clicking and dragging. The loading plot gives us information about our variables. For example, we have pea flavor, sweet, and fruity, and they are all grouped together on the loading plot. So that means that these variables are positively correlated with each other. And in the same way, hardness and mealiness and off flavor are close together here. So they are positively correlated with each other, but at the same time, they are negatively correlated with the aforementioned variables. If you want to look at both score and loading plots together, double click on the black cross again so we can get the default view back. Now we can try to form conclusions about the link between the samples and the variables. Samples that have low values for PC1 in the score plot, negative values, will have relatively higher values for these variables here, which are on the negative side of PC1 in the loading plot. In contrast, for variables here which are on the positive side of PC1, the later time point samples, they will have relatively higher values. Therefore, we can say that as time increases, we get P samples with higher P flavor, fruitiness and sweetness, and lower hardness, mealiness, and off flavor.